Good Thursday morning, just a few minutes before the top of the hour. Here's a look at the stories making news today. A gift from the Lacrosse Community Foundation is helping the Lions Club better protect kids' gift of sight, a tool that helps check kids' eyes quickly so kids can be referred to eye doctors to determine any issues. They say catching eye issues early is important to help kids learn they can early in life. The countdown to Oktoberfest is on, and now we know the identities of the parade marshals, Scott Hendrickson and Jeffrey Hankey. The Torchlight Parade begins at dusk on Thursday, September 28th. The Maple Leaf Parade is September 30th at 10 a.m. The 75th anniversary Apple Fest now underway after Wednesday's senior luncheon. The events continue this evening with the Torchlight Parade, the Apple Fest Queen Coronation on Saturday, and the Carnival happens Friday through Sunday. Lots to look forward to this weekend, and you'll see a lot of familiar faces from WXOW at the Parade Sunday. And it luckily looks like a pretty nice weekend forecast. Now, our best chance for rain looks like Friday, so Friday will be a little bit more of a soggy day. 79 degrees for our forecast highs for our Thursday, though. We'll be sunny, we'll be warmer. Winds out of the south about 5 to 10. 55 degrees for tonight. We'll see some increase in clouds, cool temperatures, and 74 degrees for tomorrow. We'll see moderate chances of showers and storms, mostly cloudy otherwise. And then as we head into Saturday, we have a few slight chances, but looking a lot more dry than for our Friday forecast. 73 degrees for highs by then, partly cloudy skies otherwise. And then sunshine returns to the forecast towards Sunday, 72 degrees. So back into those low 70s, for Saturday and Sunday, we'll then see those decreasing clouds for the back end of our weekend and some sunshine too to even start on Monday. 76 degrees for our forecast highs, and warming all the way up into those low 80s towards Tuesday and Wednesday for the middle of next week. Now also seeing in the middle of next week, we'll have those returning slight chances of showers and thunderstorms.